Hey guys, so today I've got another tutorial for you and it's about actually creating a simple level up system and it's to go along with the GUI system that I made for health, mana and stamina in one of my other videos and if you haven't seen that video I'd go and watch it so you can get an understanding um, of the script or you can download it from my website at speed-tutor.com and go to the download page and you download that GUI script. Now what this actual system is going to do is from what we've got, if I play this, I've got health, mana, stamina with each, you know, out of a hundred. Um, we're going to actually be able to collect XP, so in the actual example I'm going to show here is that my boxes here are going to represent you gaining XP. You could gain XP from killing enemies and stuff like that, but as with all my other tutorials I've just shown you with boxes to make it simple. So each of my boxes, in turn, they have a box collider and the set is trigger. So it's really simple, and then my first person controller, which has just got the GUI manager script attached for now, and then we're going to actually write some things to be able to level up, change each of your stats that you've got, so you get more health, more mana, more stamina each level that you gain. You can change this depending on what you want, and each time you level up, more XP is needed to level up to that next level, and we'll all hold that in a little GUI underneath health, so you know what level you are and what XP you've gained. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a JavaScript and we're going to name this Level Up System and then I'll just put this in my health system a folder just for ease and I'll open Mono Develop. When Mono Develop's loaded what we'll do is we'll delete the two functions there and we'll set a function called Current XP so variable current xp as integer and set that equal to zero we'll write another variable called max xp and have that as an integer equal to 50 and then have a variable called level and have that also set as an integer and equal to 1 um, then we can have something another variable called level up texture and we're going to set that as texture type texture 2D. Then we're going to have a private variable called leveled up, and has that as a have that as a boolean, and set it equal to true. And then we're going to have two more variables, which are called time to show level up as flow equal to three seconds and then variable time till not show level up as flow and equal to zero and I'll actually add underneath this one I'll actually have another variable called level up sound and that's that of type audio clip make sure every time you write this that when I write variables my first word is always lowercase and the rest always have an uppercase at the beginning of the word so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to actually write the GUI to appear so all those functions that we I mean the variables that we just wrote we're not going to use them yet so what we're going to do is going to write function on GUI with the two brackets, then the two curly brackets below. We'll say GUI dot box open brackets new rect open brackets five one hundred forty twenty and then we'll close that brackets, put a comma and then say XP. Close the brackets, then add the semicolon. So what this is doing is just drawing a GUI box at the position um five across, one hundred down, and then forty um forty width, twenty height. And what we'll do is we'll copy this same line, paste it in there, and we'll keep everything the same except we'll have five and then we'll have hundred and twenty here. And then what we'll do is change this XP to level. And what we'll have below here is we'll copy these two lines again and just below here but we'll change this one to four, these two to 45 leave it all the same apart from changing that to 100 because these are going to be slightly below 
So these are just going to be our little tags to show the what XP and level, and this is going to actually show what XP and level you've got. So after this, we'll remove this. So after your comma, you're going to say current XP plus. Then we're going to say quotes um, slash quotes plus max XP. And then we'll delete this one and we'll actually say level plus then we'll put quotations so all this means that it draws the um, GY box so it actually shows your current XP which is 0 and then it'll display a slash and then max XP which is 50 and also in the other one it'll show your um, level but I need to make sure that's actually a lowercase to follow my variables and then it'll just leave a space after so if we save that and just remember to add I sometimes miss out a semicolon when I'm running through the script, so I need a semicolon there. I go back into Unity, and I go on my first person controller and add the level up system to it. Um, what I can do is if I press play, you'll notice that I now have XP out of 50 and level which equals 1. So that's just basic there. Now I'm going to actually write an update function to actually do what we need to do. So function update with my brackets and then two curly brackets below. And what I'm going to say, I'm going to say if current XP is greater than or equal to max XP, then what we're going to do is call our level level up system function that we're going to create we're also going to say that if leveled up then so if we actually leveled up we're going to say that if time dot time is greater than time till not sure not sure leveled up if you select that, then close your brackets. Then in there, we'll say leveled up equals false. And we'll save that. So what this means is that if our current XP, which is here, ever goes above what our max amount is, we actually level up. And then if the Boolean value ever levels us up, we'll just set it, we'll set it straight to false. Now then, what we're going to do is create another function under here. We'll say function, as we did here. So function level up system. Get rid of the semicolon. Add the two curly brackets below. And what we're going to actually say is we're going to actually start doing something now. So when we've leveled up. So what we're going to do is we're going to say current xp is equal to zero so when we've leveled up current xp is equal to set to zero again then we'll say max xp is equal to max xp plus 50 then we'll say level plus plus with a semicolon so that just means level plus plus just means our level increases by one and then what we're going to say is audio dot play one shot and then we're going to say that we're going to play the level up sound and we'll close that off we'll say leveled up is equal to true and then we'll say time to not show level up equals time dot time plus time to show level up with a semicolon at the end and if we save that out so what this means when we level up current XP will be set to zero max XP will actually increase by 50 every time then the level will also increase so you can go to level 2 where you'll play a little sound for the duration of the sound you could also put comma 0.7 so you could play it for 0.7 of a second and then level and leveled up make sure I get it right and say leveled up is then equal to true. And then we'll say that 
the time to not show a level up is equal to the time that it takes to show the level up. So after that period of time of three seconds of showing the level up, then it does something. So we'll save this. And what we're going to do here is now actually in change the values of your health, mana, and stamina. So we'll write a variable here. We'll call this GUI manager colon GUI manager is equal to game object dot find open brackets first person oh, person controller close the quotations then we'll say get component open brackets GUI manager semicolon then we'll say GUI manager dot max health is equal to 120 and then GUI manager dot current health is equal to GUI manager dot max health and then we'll say GUI manager dot max mana is equal to 120 and GUI manager dot max stamina is equal to 120 so if we save that in our GUI manager script here we had some values for current health, current mana, current stamina, max stamina, max mana, max health so we want those to increase every time so what we're doing here is we're finding the script GUI manager, finding it on the game object first person controller and then we're saying that once we've leveled up um, max health is equal to 120 max stamina is equal to 120 and max uh, mana is equal to 120 so each of them go up by 20 when you've leveled up. What I'm actually going to do when I'm here is I've realised that on the top of my head now this isn't going to work properly so once you've leveled up once it's just going to equal 120 and never go up again so what we'll do is we'll do GUI dot man GUI manager dot max health is equal to GUI manager dot max health plus 20 and we'll save that And then I'll do the same thing with these. So GUI manager dot max mana is equal to GUI manager dot max mana plus twenty. And then we'll say max stamina is equal to GUI manager dot max stamina plus twenty. And what this means is that when we level up each time, it will actually increase max health, max mana, and max stamina by 20, instead of just setting it to a value. So it'll increase by 20 increments every time. And here, what I've done is when current health is equal to max health, just means that when you level up, you'll actually heal yourself, so your, your current health will actually go fully. Like you do in some games that everything just um, goes back to the normal amount instead of regenerating. So if you save that, and you go into Unity, and what we're going to do is we don't have any errors, so we're going to create a script called gain XP. We're going to put this inside our health system, and then what we're going to do is we're going to open it up in Mon Develop, and once it's open, what we'll do is under the here we'll write a private private variable called level up script and we'll set that as type level up system and then push that down and we'll say level up script is equal to game object dot find um, first person controller then we'll say dot get component open brackets level up system close the brackets put a semicolon 
and then we'll delete the function update here and we'll say function on trigger enter open the brackets call set colon collider then we we'll put the two curly brackets and say if call dot tag is equal to player then what we're going to do is we're going to say destroy lowercase game object semicolon then we're going to say level up script dot current xp plus equals 10 and then we'll save that so what that means is in here we found the script which is called the level up system and when we go into the collider we're going to set those boxes it's going to actually um, change and add to the XP by 10 but what we're going to need to do is I need to make sure that's not a capital P so if you saw me do that make sure that it's all capitals there um, and not the first bit Because, like I said before, always keep your first word lowercase when you're talking about a variable. We'll minimize that. And then what I'll do is I will select all my boxes. And then I'll add the gain XP script to them. So what you'll see is I'll run over these boxes. I've got 10, I gain 10 XP. Gain another 10, I've got 20. Gain another 10. Another 10. And when I go over this lax box, we went to out of 100, we're at level 2, and everything has been set to 120. So, there you have it. Each time you level up, that will also increment by 50, so you'll go to level 3, and it will require to get 50 XP, and so on. So that's pretty much it about this tutorial, about making a simple level up system. Now. You can take this and you can do it a lot of different ways, but that was just a simple way of showing you what to do. And before I finished, I'll show you that you can just add a level up sound there. So when you level up, it'll play a sound, you know, like a happy sound, whatever you want. Cheering or um, fireworks, something like that, yeah. And that'll be fine, and then it'll just, it'll just appear once you level up and then fade out. So that's pretty much it. And if you like the tutorial, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks very much. Cheers.